Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. Today is Saturday and I was thinking to clean my engine bit because it was nasty as you saw in the previous video. But something else happened. Usually my car is facing other way, so I decided to move it so I have space to open the bonnet and clean the engine. And I crushed my fender, as you can see. And the problem is, because I have actually pretty good fitment, if I straighten my wheel, it will be hitting my arch. So I have to move it out so the car is movable. Furthermore, this uh, grill assembly is also bent. Nothing else is actually damaged. It's just the liner is also moved out. It's literally rubbing it right now over there. And that's the cause. I wasn't careful. Also really wasn't in a good mood today and just hit it. I see some paint on my car. <laughs> have to find a way to move it backwards. A friend of mine will come by to help me fix the fender and see what we can do to make the car roadworthy again. Anyway, my friend came, say hi. 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 So he'll be helping me to fix the fender. I think we're gonna roll it and try to hit everything in place so we can just drive it and use it. Russians can can they? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what do you mean, hammer and uh, shit? <laughs> it's not I wanted to just flex my like nationality i mean <laughs> wait ah okay that was a lot oh easier. actually it's not yes oh yes. shit that actually yes, works actually it works well now we're looking like this which is better than before it should be like that sort of i think we're clear for the road look even the fender liner went sort of in place actually you we need to find a pipe of, of some kind yeah you have a pipe in your car i don't think so i'm pretty sure i don't <laughs> Your intake pipe. Uh. I'm thinking what I can do. I need. I found this thing. Anyways, I think that's it for today about the fender. Maybe I'll find a better way to roll it nice, more nicely. But for now, I'm happy with the result because the looks of things it's more straight and it's almost back to where it should be it's better than it was but i feel very sorry for poor wolfie i feel very sorry for him i'm gonna be using this dirty little thing and some water to clean this nasty M50, it has some oil, it has some everything, so just gonna wipe everything down and I'm sure it's gonna look a lot better. Like anyway, so after 50 minutes, engine looks like that. Honestly, it's not perfect, but it looks a lot cleaner. And the wipe that I was using it is destroyed sometime soon we'll go me and uh, james parky to get some tires and after that we'll go drifting if his uh, rat trap uh, will be running just did typical bmw owner routine check the oil but now we have to do something not really typical. Check the water level on the BM. For that we have still deionized water. It's better than before, but still need some water. All right, let's head out. Anyways, me and Sparky Films, we came to a tire shop. Yeah, from the James spot, yes. You can see it over here. We are we came to check out some tires. There's a lot of mud and dirt, but whatever. So let's find something interesting. This is done. <laughs> that guy is not really happy that we're looking for tires. That one there. <laughs> that one has a lot of meat there, if you look. The one there in front, you see? No, no, no. In front, in front, there. Ah, yeah, that one there. One good one. What are those? James, I found 205 45 17. Is it the same? Yeah, James, I found the pair. This is 205 16. A pair for that. Man, look at those tires. Okay. 
16. Very small 16. James, 195, 45, 16. The guys here, I always ask for their rubbish, basically. These are all these tires go for recycling. Also, the tire shops pay for that. To and recycle. they pay for that. They get a coupons and they have to pay. And I've already spoken with them that I can pick up the extra tires and we can use them for drifting, but then I have to dispose of them properly, so we dispose of them at the correct place at Atma Speedway, there's a place we take the tires. I came in and I brought mud with me, and everything. Whatever, it's a... He's got no carpets in the car. He likes this missile shitbox thing. I mean, it's, it's a good car for, for a bit of drifting, and not to care about things and dents and everything. Also, if I break hard now, we are dead. Huh? If I break hard, we're dead. Yeah, we will be. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're at Sparky's place and look at all those tires. Yeah, I'll have to put them all in my car. Gonna be fun. Because Sparky's rat trap uh, has issue with it. We're gonna bring the tires to Achna. In addition to that, we're gonna take from another car to fix his rat trap so we can go drifting on Saturday. Alright, so these are all of our tires and for some reason, I remember they were being rain, but there's water and a lot of shit in them. I have to clean it up before putting it in my baby. So we loaded up, there's two tires in the trunk. I have some tires like here and let's head out to Ristos. I don't know the guy, but I guess I'll meet him. So we occurred an issue, the truck that we should have taken to Achna is not here and uh, we just, just left the tires in the garage. Look at that Civic, K24 apparently. Note. Bye bye baby, see you soon. Nachna Speedway, James is gonna pick up the pump from his rat trap 1.0. It was his daily car, but what happened to it? I brought it to the track one day because I wanted to go drifting, and uh, I was working as the track manager back then. And the car never left Nachna Speedway, it's been here for 10 years, I think. Now that's why you never take your cars to the truck. Your street Silvias to the truck if you're That's crazy. That's why you have to take your street Silvias to the truck because I had more fun driving this at Achna Speedway than I did driving it on the road, to be fair. Yeah, that's another way to see it. But, I mean... You just Don't be... be a James, basically. Don't bring your car to the track and leave it here. Yeah, it was a beautiful street legal car before it was... I wouldn't say beautiful. <laughs> it was beautiful. It wasn't beautiful, man. It was gorgeous. For you, it was gorgeous because you love Silvias. For me, it was a rust bucket. It needed a lot of work. That's an ABS pump, and that's the damage it had when it. This is nothing. Look at the chassis rail there. Oh. It sh twisted. That's and there it bent as well. <laughs> well, that's how it. That's what happens. It's when okay, you... but yeah. That's what happens when you hit Achna Speedway wall ten times. This was the tenth time it was bent. The engine mount is still on the subframe, half of it. Well, I hope my BMW will not end up like that. That would be a shame. Not really, but that would be a shame. So there are a few drift cars, drift school cars that uh, Achna Speedo has. Let me show them to you. There's one that I specifically like. You will see why now. Look at this. This is a left-hand drive. It looks like a Nardi steering wheel and a bucket seat. 318 IS. But there's a little trick, as you can see there is a M-Tech bumper 
It's a facelift model. The way you see it is because it has these kind of grills. They're not inside. And if you open the bonnet, yeah, these things work. I'm surprised, like, but anyways, look at that. That's an M50 B25 TU. TU means they has vanos on the intake side. And it's very easy to distinguish 320 and 325 engines. First of all, the way it distinguishes from the intake, uh, from the intake, it's on the 325 models and 2.5 liter engines. There is the intake port here is a lot fatter for more air to get inside the engine. And honestly, that's a dream engine. Like these engines can hold the boost like nonstop. I think on the stock internals, stock everything, just turbo kit, you can easily get 300 horsepower, which is great for NA motor. It's cast iron block. And if you build the internals, this engine can hold tons of power because of really strong engine block. And uh, another car, which is my dream car, obviously is S13 200 SX. All right, so this car has parts. It has this clear looking uh, non-cookie tail lights, which look absolutely gorgeous. And uh, I don't know what those rims are. They look like VSXX rims, but they are Axia. I don't know anything. Brembo brakes. It's got this beautiful mon uh, lightning McQueen color, like, and the black roof. And honestly, like, for me, my dream car was always red as 13, 206, 240, 180, doesn't matter. Non cookie, I like the shark nose and uh, the black roof. Like all these are specs of my dream S13. I like one day I'll have one of those cars and I hope you'll see it on my vlogs. And like there's nothing else to say. It's it's brilliant chassis, it's beautiful looking cars. They're timeless in my opinion and with the pop-up headlights like it's unbelievably cool. The owner of the truck has junkyard and we're there and there's a lot of rims as you see behind me. I'm trying to see if there's anything that fits me. Plus there's a lot of parts in here like once I've been here I found 2JZ and SR20 VE. Like if you know the many pro Sylvia cars they have SR20s but they don't have normal head from uh, Sylvia. The, the normal head is just VVT or just nor like just camshafts. But um, many producers like Gocha in Russia, he has SR20 with a VVLI, uh, SR20 VE head, which is like a Honda VTEC system, but made by Nissan. It's like exactly the same principle of work. And uh, I was really excited to see the engine. <laughs> Check out this thing. Uh, stop the video and comment what do you think it is. All right, I hope you stopped and I'll tell you what it is now. It's an Evo 10. <laughs> if you see these things and the bonnet is like that with all the vents, it's an Evo. And it's an automatic gearbox. It's this kind of double twin clutch gearbox from Mitsubishi. It has the paddle shifters. Yeah, a shame that an Evo 10 was destroyed like that. <laughs> it's pretty sucks. And that's the engine in there like can't really see it but that's an evo that's definitely an evo it's this it's a blue skyline gtr why is it gtr because the rear fender is a lot wider than the factory one nismo intercooler or maybe not maybe yes i think these are factory brakes the gtrs came factory with these brembo brakes oh, look at this is a beautiful car anyways one day I'll own this too. <laughs> that will, look what I found. It's a 3SG Beams blacktop. Damn! Okay. I'm getting excited. The JDM fanboy inside me is waking up. And I found 2ZZ. Actually, I might tell Theo about this engine. And then I'll ask how much it costs. 2JZ non VVTi. 2JZ VVTi. I think that's also 2JZ, 2JZ VVTi, 2JZ VVTi, 2JZ VVTi. Red top beams, 3SG. Alright guys, so today is Friday and it's final day to prepare for drift because tomorrow we're going to drift. I have Matvey, Roma and Misha here with me, plus Nikita. And uh, I already rolled the front fenders. 
This is the result. We did it at Christos Garage. The clips of that you will see now. Fuck! Check you on the drone. It is too late. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, we lost some paint, but still, I don't care. I like the way it looks. It kind of this drift missile look. I actually really enjoy. And plan for now is like the, to finish the preparations is to throw away the interior, so we will have as much as less weight as possible in the back of the car, and roll the back arches just for the fun of it. Because why the hell not? Because we can. Anyway, guys, let's get started. To roll the fender, I took extension because it's, this wire is not too long. <coughs> And I got the hair dryer. Plus, we have this pipe I took from Christos. And let's get started, finally. All right, so. We tried it, as you saw, and nothing happened. It's exactly the same as it was before. Because this motherfucker is too small. Shit. Uh, we tried to maybe use the hammer to hit it out. Or, I don't know. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> uh, maybe we'll use the hammer. Destroy the lip and just, maybe with the hammer, just make the rolling. We'll see. All right, guys, we didn't find anything fatter than that pipe, so we decided to put everyone on the car yeah. to make a Stan's Life Nation. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna try to roll it. <laughs> Please tell me it works. <laughs> <laughs> Is it working? A bit. Huh? It's working a bit. <laughs> it actually works! <laughs> give someone give a light, give me a light please. <laughs> it actually worked! <laughs> That's one way to do things. Uh, if you look, there's actually a little leap. Alright, let's continue. <laughs> Fuck, there's no paint left. Fuck, that's fucked. There is no paint left. It's all chipped. <laughs> But it works like it's like it's absolutely flush. <laughs> ah shit! Roman, <laughs> you're a genius. We lost a lot of paint. Who cares about paint? <laughs> <laughs> Artists. No, they don't. Ah, yeah, actually. We can actually paint it black, like uh, a line here. And it's gonna be quite nice. No, it's like not gonna be nice. Do like smoke black. <laughs> With black, it's not gonna be nice. Black, black, we're gonna find kind of silver bigger. paint, and we're just gonna make this whole thing painted again. If we ah, uh, okay, okay. That's that's one way to do it. I, I just I just thought, uh, thought like paint here. The new cyber thing is, uh, the paint of the metal is exactly the same as the paint of the car. No, so it isn't. It's very similar. Fuck you, it is. It's not. Shut up. <laughs> uh, <anyway. I> <laughs> so it's time to get rid of the interior of the car. By the way, these are liners in the front. Before they were like here inside, but because we rolled the fender, they just fall out. So just, I just threw them out. So bye bye. This is my filter. I'm gonna need it, I think. I think. Um, Throw out all the garbage in here. Yep, that's out. Hey! <laughs> all this that we are doing will give us around 30 kilos, I think. 
That's how much I weighted all of these parts when I took it out first time. Only 30? I thought it's more. Really? It I was think. 50 because it was it's 30 now because I already took out the sound dead thing. Oh. Don't forget that. It was another like 20 kilos. So I think we're I think we're ready for tomorrow. The car looks something like that. And we are absolutely like we will be able to go tomorrow and have a lot of fun. We have rolled fenders, we're much lighter than like usual and it's gonna be great fun. Anyway guys, you you'll see the drifting in the next vlog. So I hope I'll see you next week and until next time.